Welcome back to Emma Kitchen. Today I will make eggnog for my family for Christmas coming soon. So today I will share with you how fun is it to make eggnog at home. So let's get started for the eggnog. I will find egg today. Transfer the egg like that so you can see the X Y running run in the big bowl. And you can get the egg yolk like that easy. And then put to the small. Okay, last job. I already get it. Good five job and five wines. Uh, for a job bowl, I will add one third cup of white sugar. One third cup of white sugar in good. For a couple of minutes, which eggs I see the egg yolk turn the light yellow color. This good. Which more? Faster, faster. Okay, good. You can see it's really creamy and like yellow color. As good, I put another side and do for next step. For next step, I will mix milk and heavy cream in the medium pot. So I will use two cup of the whole milk, one cup heavy cream in. Good. And I use one teaspoon ground nutmeg. One teaspoon ground nutmeg in. So after I mixing the milk and heavy cream, one teaspoon of ground nutmeg, I cook it in the stove until I see it broil a tiny bit. I see the milk pot getting the broil and the smell of nutmeg is wonderful. Makes the smell of nutmeg makes the special for so the eggnog. If you don't have the nutmeg for the eggnog, so maybe you missing something really important. Okay, I can see the milk getting broil perfect. Turn stir up. I will add the meals in the hot meal in the expo. So this step really important. One hand you pour the little little hot meal and one hand you have to wish really fast and slowly little little because you don't want to cook the egg. I pour the hot meal in the uh, mixing the expo. Now I have to pour it back to the pot. Why I had to pour it back to the pot, I will tell you later. So I will pour it back to the pot after I'm mixing it. Perfect. Okay, I can see the milk getting steam. Have steam coming out and the milk getting taste now. Okay, that is perfect. I don't want it fried and I don't want to cook it at high heat. I want to cook at low heat and I need steam and bubble. Okay, good. Pour it back to the mixing bowl. Woo! That smells wonderful. I have a bottle of brandy standing here for a long time. Next step, I will pour the whole bottle of the brandy into the ice mixing. <laughs> Don't get drunk. That poor whole the bottle of brandy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> if I pour the whole bottle of brandy like that in the eggnog, Maybe I will get drunk before you. <laughs> so I will ask one half cup of the brandy, or you can eat rum, or you can eat bourbon. But I have a brandy, so I will ask one half cup of the brandy, not bottle, only one half cup of brandy. That's perfect. Too much? You think that's too much? Maybe I add more. No, one half cup is enough for me. I don't want to get drunk. So I was slowly mixing one half cup of brandy into the mixer okay that smells wonderful now i'm going to put it in freezing the until i see the milk cold and get chill so i'll finish i mix the egg while high and i take a spoon of white sugar Good. 
So I had to pour this bowl. So I pour in the big mixing bowl. So next, I will add a little bit of meringue in the milk mixing. And I will stir it really well. Oh, it's really well like that. You see the foamy of the meringue. Add one more, the last meringue. Okay, mixing is that's why I need to mix mixing bowl because I don't want to get the egg nose on my clothes. <laughs> oh, I stir it real well like that. More exercise for the arm. Good time. Huh? Yeah, you can see the egg nose. Now I can call it the egg nose because mixing all the egg and milk and nuts make ready to make the delicious. Uh, after I pour the egg nose in a big pitcher here, I will put it in the freezer. Until really cold and I serve it. You can leave eggnog like that in the fridge about two or three weeks, but I don't think you can leave it that long. Maybe one day is already done because it's really delicious. And now I will try by myself. Put the eggnog and add a little bit of nutmeg on the top. Oh my gosh, a lot. <laughs> and add a little bit and cheer. And cheer. Merry Christmas. Mmm, wow, it's delicious. So thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed my video. Bye-bye, see you next time.